get down. What is up, people of YouTube? Shuffling Zombie here, and I'm doing a showcase on my Tech It world. This is my single player Tech It world that I play on, just when I get bored or, you know, whatever. Um, so, I'm gonna try and keep this video somewhat short, but, um, we're kinda just gonna start out with this. Um, the seed is right there. I can see it, negative six. Seven one two five eight zero three nine. So if you want to play on the seed, go ahead. Um, and what's special about the seed is there's like nine diamonds or something in this forger shop or whatever it is. So um, if you want a ton of diamonds to get started with, do that. You'll spawn over here, kind of like in the jungle sort of thingy, sort of like over there somewhere. Over there. So yeah. Um, so yeah, you'll find this village eventually. So, right here, I have my little rubber tree farm. I don't really use it that much, but um, uh, it's there. This is the wheat farms that spawned in, the cathedral, or the church, or whatever you want to call it. Um, this is my little flax farm right there, just because I added some, because I needed some for something. I don't know what I did. But um, uh, the reason I like using um, NPC villages, because Seth gets so mad at me or whatever, and I take over NPC villages, but the reason I love using them is just because the food. It's just, you immediately get to them and you immediately have food. So there's another farm over there. So, um, uh, these, I haven't touched these buildings. Well, the, uh, the church I kind of turned into my mine. <laughs> yeah, that goes all the way down to bedrock. And then that's just like my little mine kind of. I don't really use that that much. That was just kind of like when I needed diamonds or stuff and at the very beginning. Because that kind of goes down to a ravine too. But with tech it, I'd rather just go about in caves and stuff, so... So yeah, there used to be a bunch of little houses kind of like over here, and there's a couple like over here, and the the road went down this way a little bit, so I just changed it up. The, the road also went up that way kind of a little bit, so I moved it. Um, so I took over this house right here. That's my personal house. I'll get to there in a second. But this one, it was basically two of the uh, bookshelf, or the libraries spawned together, so I just broke down this wall right here and made it kind of like one big building, sort of. So this one building is basically was going to be in my sorting room. I haven't really built it yet, though, but I have my sorting machine and my chest and stuff. I have just yet to, like, actually turn it into, like, a sorting machine area with all the pipes and everything. But this is, like, my, uh, factory, my work shed area, kind of. So, this is my little macerator kind of setup. So, I dump all my ores in here after mining, turn on these levers, and it'll get pumped out of the here into the macerator, which has nine ore clockers in it, which is basically, like, the fastest you can go with the amount of power it's supplied. Not that I, like, run out of power, just that it doesn't go fast enough. So I have that, and then if that, like, runs out, it gets pumped, or if it gets overflowed, either one gets overflowed, it gets sucked in through that pipe and goes back into the chest. And then, stuff will get pumped out of the macerator into the induction furnace right here, and that'll, like, it's super fast because it's heat 100%, and that'll get pumped out of here into the chest, which is, like, really, really full. And then this chest is mostly uranium stuff and railcraft stuff, because I'm really starting to get into, uh, or, well, I just started to get into railcraft. So if you guys want to teach me stuff about Railcraft, I have a rolling machine right there. And then I have a couple, I have three coke ovens and then a blast furnace right here. So if you guys know a lot about Railcraft, um, tell me. <laughs> Comment below if there's anything you like I should start out with. Like I have a crowbar and stuff, I have some rails and all that, so I don't know. One second. Sorry about that, I have a bit of cold if you guys couldn't really tell. But um, uh... So, yeah, so Railcraft, I have a bit of a rolling machine, or well, I have a rolling machine. Um, so, yeah, I just kind of, like, have a few things, so, a little bit of stuff. Um, I say, if you guys want to tell me stuff about Railcraft, that'd be pretty awesome. Um, so, right now, my work shed, um, I'm going to show you the top of it. I have three, or I have two solar panels and a low-voltage solar array, and that leads into my MFSU. And then I also, this was a geothermal generator, but it ran out um, of lava, so... That's that, um, because I'll show you, there's actually an awesome volcano, I'm going to show you that right now, actually. Um, it actually is, like, the very first volcano that actually looks like a volcano to me, because most of the volcanoes you find, or at least that I find, they're all, like, flat or whatever, and they look like crap, and it's just, like, this one little lava source coming out of the top, so it's gone down a little bit just because I pumped it all out, but 
it was actually a pointy volcano. <laughs> and that thing was, uh, that thing was hard to climb up when I needed a bucket of lava the one time. So I had to climb, like, all the way up that by hand or whatever, so it was ridiculous. Um, so yeah, what's funny about my world is I actually ha I actually just made this quarry, kind of. Like, I just recently made it. Like, I had red matter stuff before I had this quarry. I don't know, I just... I don't know. Normally, I build a quarry pretty early on, but I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna see what happens. I kind of, like... I don't remember... The very first source of power I had was, like, a few solar panels on the roof. That's it. And then, after that, I immediately got into nuclear power, so... Those solar panels, and then also my nuclear reactor, which I'm gonna show you in a second, leads into my MFSU. And my nuclear reactor, the pipe, or the core cable or whatever goes underground. So that's my nuclear reactor, two thick reinforced stone, as I showed you guys. So I think it's a Mark One. It's like the same setup or whatever with tech it, tech it with Duncan. So it's pretty good. Um, but I do want to bump it up. So if you guys know how to, if you guys know a lot about nuclear reactors, um, make like a tutorial or a setup video or whatever on Mark Two nuclear reactors, or maybe even like Mark Threes or whatever you think will be good for me. So that'd be cool. So that'd be cool if you guys can make a video or anything about that. So that's my two sources of power, the solar panels, which I need to make more of. It's just that they take forever to build, just with the normal, like, project table and crafting table and stuff. If they still had project table threes, I would build a lot more, but they don't, so that kind of sucks. So that just kind of goes underground and feeds up in my FSU uh, off the bottom. So, where am I stuck on? So my MFSU is pretty much full right now, but, um, uh, project table... Alchemical chest with the talisman of repair. Um, yeah, it's pretty much about. Okay, so it kind of like just comes out and it goes in a uh, medium voltage and then low voltage. That powers my uh, canning machine, which I guess is for the construction foam stuff. It also or charges my charging booth or charging bench, Mark One um, condenser or compressor. Wow, compressor extractor, and then also my macerator and induction furnace. So. That's kind of like what gets powered. And then also I have an energy link right here, which I can turn off using that lever right there. And that leads up into a wireless um, pipe or whatever, and that heads all over to my quarry. So it was, it's, I made that MFSU and stuff before I made a quarry, so. So sucker trucks along pretty freaking good. I have a few chests hooked up to it. I have a, another, or er, ender chest hooked up to it. So it's like if I know if that's full... You know, I know that every single other chest is full. Or if that's getting, like, really close. You know, I know. And that's, that other ender chest is in my house. And then also this oil I recently got. I still have, like, the waterproof transport pipe on that. And that's just... Yeah, I just haven't decided what I'm going to do with it yet. Those are just powering my, uh, battery box that's powering my solar panel. Or, not my solar panel. Sturdy machine. So this is my house. I'm my bed. My recycler. Um... I have a couple condensers, so I, first thing I have is I have, what, seven block breakers, I think, which are, yeah, seven hooked up to a, or well, I guess, like, in the middle of a cobblestone generator, so cobblestone generator's underneath, and they have a really quick pulse, and they break it, sucks it up through the pipe, and then it goes into the recycler, fills that up, gives me the scrap, and everything else goes into the condenser, and that's just making me diamonds. Those diamonds are not all from the stuff, you know, those are, like, I went to the nether and got a ton of nether gold and that stuff is amazing excuse me amazing so here's the other under chest in my house so i just normally chuck the stuff in the condenser make me some diamonds um this is just a bunch of random junk more random junk a bunch more random junk on uh, my transportation tablet um normal furnace i don't know why but i never even touched it it was like the first thing i got um couple project tables so one in there one in here um, blue ally, or, uh, ally furnace, so that's that, and then out here, I have a double milk EMC generator thing, so basically it's just deployer, deploys milk buckets into the cow gets, or deploys empty buckets, get milk buckets, filter just sucks it out, takes into the condenser, makes me more buckets, and keeps it flowing, basically, and then every single time it gets more, enough buckets, it'll, like, give me a bucket, so it's not perfect if you guys know how if you guys want to boost it up a little bit, like I have four slots, four buckets or whatever. And I have this filter running on basically like full power, so it sucks it out like really fast, I guess. So that's just my EMC generator. And then that feeds up into a condenser, which is making me red matter. And that's all from 
Well, no, not really. But then I have four Mark II energy collectors and a Mark II antimatter relay feeding up into that condenser, as well as the milk generator thing. Okay, so that's that. Um, that's about everything. So yeah, one thing I need help on is that nuclear reactor. Another thing, railcraft. Another thing, if you don't want to boost that milk generator thing at all, that'd be pretty awesome. And also, what I should do with its oil to make it the most efficient. Because I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do. I also need to go get some more lava, too, because that was a pretty good source of power. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, I might actually kind of somewhat turn this into a real series, sort of, me giving it... I'm not necessarily going to film every single time I play this, just because I like being able to play it when I want. And, you know, I don't have to have, like, be able to film because, like, my parents and stuff aren't bugging me. So, I'll probably just do updates and stuff like this, sort of, every now and then. So, if you guys want me to do that... Um, I think that'd be pretty cool. So make sure you comment below if you want me to turn this into somewhat of a little series. So yeah, you guys, hope you guys have enjoyed. Be sure to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to Is You Jelly, Eyes of Pikachu, White is Power Ranger, those are Seth's and Shenanigans channel. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you need to email me, feel free. You can also, like, leave a message, comment below, message me on Xbox, my gamer tag is in the description, as well as all our other emails and gamer tags. So yeah, you guys, hope you guys have enjoyed. And peace out.